Let us demonstrate in less than five minutes. Why, Why you always lying? Why? Oh my God. Why baby mama culture is on the females. We present to you a role production. What's good black people? If you're a first time viewer of my content and of this video, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now I know you're watching this video and you're over here like, oh my god, he done did it again. But calm down, alright? This video isn't to slander or diminish women who are single mothers. This video isn't to, per se, give a condemnation on women who are in this predicament where they have to raise children on their own. However, we are in we are living in a society where women aren't given accountability. We are living in a society where women are getting off the hook with a lot of things that they say and do. Now this isn't to also say that women don't be held accountable for their actions because there are certain scenarios as that. But what you see in the media is where you have these certain women or these females, I shouldn't even say women, who will get off the hook for how they uh, cooperate with other people and how they compose and conduct themselves on a daily basis. When you're looking at the baby mama culture and you're dealing with a scenario where a woman is getting together with a male who who seems like he's a good man. He seems like he has good intentions. And this is what they would tell you. Oh, I thought he was good. I thought he would treat me right, all this type of stuff. And then y'all get all goody goody. You lay in bed with him. And the next thing you know, you're pregnant. He finds out the news, he dips. He's not responsible. He's not taking care of the child. And now you're over here complaining on Twitter about how men are trash and uh, the, these black men aren't responsible for their children and don't know how to raise them and all this other type of stuff, right? Now, when you're dealing with these type of scenarios, understand that this is on you for the female who gets themselves in these situations. Now, is this to let this male off the hook? No, it's not to get him off the hook. It's on you. It's not on him per se. Now he is the giver, you are the receiver. He's the one that gave you the sperm. He's the one that laid in bed with you. And to us, we would think that this male will have to have the responsibility of raising the child. No, a man is responsible for raising the child. But if you're just sleeping in bed with niggas, sleeping in bed with people who aren't or compatible for being parents, much less fathers, what do you think you're going to get out of that particular experience? When you're dealing with this baby mama culture where the father isn't responsible for the children, he's a deadbeat or whatever the case may be, these niggas are not responsible for their own lives. Look at where they work. Look at who they cooperate with. Look at how he dressed. Look at how he conducts himself. Do you really expect anything from this man, much less a relationship from this man, and then you get knocked up by him and, and then you complain about him being ain't shit? He wasn't shit when you met him. So what do you expect from him when you get pregnant by him and he's not being responsible for the child that he gave you? This is at the fault of these females for two reasons. One is their morals. Two, their choices, which is backed up by their morals and their values. Because these particular females have not been given the proper values for what to look for in a man, they, they don't know how to choose a good man. They think that if a man has a nice height, he got a big dick, he, he's, he's athletic, that he looks nice in the face and everything in, in place, that that, 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 that completes your, your dream of a man. He may have a bad attitude here and there. He may treat me like trash, but he do look nice. He may, he may wait two to three days to respond back to my text message, but he, he looks nice. He, there are males out here, there are niggas out here who will knock up a woman and not be responsible for what they give to that woman because growing up, their mother never gave them responsibilities. They never was responsible for their grades. They, they wasn't responsible for uh, homework, assignments, projects. They wasn't held accountable for chores, whatever the case is. So what do you expect from these type of males? They were raised up by their mothers and they were raised up effeminate. 
So what do you expect from this type of man? You don't, you can't expect a, a proper relationship with this man, much less for him to be a father if he wasn't given opportunities or, or ways of being mature and responsible in life. If he wasn't responsible in his life individually from you, do you really think he, he can actually maintain the actual attributes of a good father? Do you really think that he has what it takes to take care of a child or much less take care of you and the child or much less even take care of having a family? But men are supposed to be responsible for their children. And they are. But when you are laying in bed with, with males, with niggas who haven't given, they haven't been given responsibilities, when you're sitting, laying in bed, getting knocked up, getting fucked by niggas who probably have two to three other baby mamas that they don't care about, you're laying up with, with niggas who don't got anything going for themselves, you're laying up with niggas who don't have anything going for themselves, literally. If you're laying up in bed with niggas who never were given proper responsibilities or taken seriously, you're laying up in bed with niggas who can't even be taken seriously and then you want to complain about these type of niggas or these type of males who are deadbeat dads. Well, why you keep giving it up to them? You complain about the men that you sleep with. You complain about the men that you keep giving your box to, that you keep letting them crunch the cookies. This does not make sense to me whatsoever. How do you keep complaining about males that you keep letting into your household and then when they vandalize the household you saw I mean the man comes walking in the house hello I'm an invader hello I ain't shit has it right there this ain't on him this is on you he wasn't given responsibilities as a, as a child he wasn't raised to be a man so what 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 else do you expect from him other than be an ancient nigga but it's beyond me. Until next time, I'm Tyrone. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what I had to say, if you did not like what I had to say, let your thoughts be known in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm Tyrone. Again, thank you for watching this video. Like this video, subscribe to your channel, and share this video with other people. Until next time, I'm Tyrone, and I am out. These be the same women that complain about being strong and independent, and I gotta do stuff by myself. And still get knocked up by these ancient niggas. It's beyond me. It's natural selection. It's a continuous cycle where you have these women raising up these boys. And mind you, these ancient niggas are raised up by women. The same women that are in this continuous generational curse, as people will call it, or this generational cycle of being ancient. The mother raised up the boy to be ancient. Then he gets the girl knocked up. And then that girl raised up the boy to be just like the father. You dress like your, you ever heard these, some of these single mothers, you dress like your father. Then they raise up and then they grow up to be like their father. It's a, it's, it's disgusting. And you could have chosen, got left with none, but you shining just like the sun. So this battle's already won. Wake up, Neo, hello, get to stepping. You know your mind is your greatest weapon. Follow your heart to the gates of heaven. And when you get a hope, be sure open up all them doors. Fighting off the clones as they try to possess my soul. Gotta make it home, special message from Oracle. She already know I'ma do just what I am told. And if they try to tell me no, I'ma shimmy shake out this soul. I, I don't got much time. I gotta make shit shake, I gotta